College Football 25 is finally here, so let me show you my first 24 hours on Cut. But before we get into it, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, drop a like, and let's go ahead and get right into the video. So we started off our cut adventure by looking at our team and this is what it was looking like. A 67 overall all around. You know, it looks a little bit different from Mutt, so I'm really excited to start something new here. But that was our offense and now looking right here at our defense, it's a whole bunch of nobodies. However, for our starter packs, we actually have the pre-order bonuses that we got with pre-ordering the MVP bundle for both Madden and college football. So, you know, it's only right if we can go ahead and open them up to start things off with. Right here, we got a cover athlete pack. We got Donovan Edwards, Travis Hunter, and Quinn Ewers, which ultimately I ended up choosing the Travis Hunter wide receiver card, which next up, we had an 83 overall Joe Burrow quarterback card, which this is going to be our quarterback for the majority of of this video not really sure what this pack was called but hey i will take it next up we had another one of these big packs um again i don't know what it's called but it had a lot of solid choices for us to go ahead and take which i ended up taking will johnson cornerback from michigan next up in this one we had a whole bunch of 81 overalls but i ended up taking trevor etn travis etn's younger brother kind of wanted an explosive offense and right here in this pack this is an 82 overall i wanted to take left tackle Jordan Morgan purely because some point we're gonna have to build up the offensive line so why not take a left tackle and after adding all of those players to the team we are a 70 overall the offense was looking really good but the defense not so much of course whenever we start one of these ultimate team builds we have to go ahead and get into the challenges that's what I would end up doing for the next I think it was two hours we would go ahead and do these challenges and right here they kind of helped me this time around usually they're annoying but this is a new game I got to kind of learn some of the mechanics behind some of the throwing the rushing and all of that but after finishing up all of the fundamentals of course it was gonna give us some nice earned packs which surprisingly we got some 77 to 79 overall players from our first pack we got a nice 71 cornerback then we got a nice 74 defensive tackle and honestly these packs were kind of hitting for the defense a 77 overall right outside linebacker and a huge one right here a 79 kicker but of course the challenges were not over just yet we had to go ahead hop into some more build up our coin count get some more packs to add to the team because as you guys can see we are a 72 overall and honestly i wasn't going to complain this helped me learn the game learn how to play it kind of get a feel for college football but after some time of course we finished up all of those challenges got some coins got some packs and this time through we had some really solid packs some 77s and 79s now out of our first one we got a 70 for tight end to add to the squad then we would turn around and get a 77 halfback which we didn't really need since we have trevor Etienne. but right here we got a 77 right end huge addition for the defense and to end it up we got a 79 right guard and hey i like the big boys up front so we would add all those players to the team a 73 overall offensive line starting to come together the offense is looking kind of sick and that's what i want to do i wanted to build a high power offense now as for the defense yeah we still needed a lot of work to do with this side of the ball finally though we ended up on our last bit of challenges right here this is a bit of a repeat so i apologize for that but bro this is what you kind of have to do it's the launch day of college football Hey, listen, this is not going to be the first glitch time of the video, but we did have a little birdie. Hashtag shout out to Nian. He ended up coming into our stream and telling us that there was an XP glitch, which if you were to do a solo battle, basically you just get through it. You can do it on recruit difficulty, but once you were able to finish up the challenge, you would just get a whole bunch of XP. So I kind of got onto this method just a little bit late. However, it would still work, which that's kind of the theme for me with these glitches. Like you'll find out later on in this video. Of course, they wouldn't lie to me. As you guys can see, we are level 13 and we got a whole bunch of rewards from the season field pass. Starting off our first one, I think this was a fantasy pack, which we got a whole bunch of 80 overalls. But right here, I would ultimately end up taking free safety, Jakeen Harris. We would then have another fantasy pack where I ended up taking a pretty sick tight end along with a nice looking center. This is the theme of the video as of right now, a whole bunch of fantasy packs. But right here, we get an 84, my biggest pull yet. 
yet to get out of a pack in college football. But yeah, that was sick pulling that 84 right there. Then we got a couple of 84s. Of course, another fantasy pack. And right here, I really wanted to show up the defense. So let's go ahead, get Kobe Bryant, the 84 overall cornerback. Pair him with Will Johnson, who is also an 83. So yeah, our secondary is looking deadly, especially with that free safety we just got. But I hadn't finished up all my challenges. That was in the middle of my challenges. I went over and hopped into those solo battles. So I was proud that I did that. But again, we have to finish these challenges. After completing up all those challenges, we hopped right into opening up some more packs that we got. And right here, we get an 80 overall defensive tackle, big boy up front, another blue, and that's a middle linebacker, 80 overall. So, hey, I was feeling the luck at this point, but we had 4,600 points, which we got from the pre-order bundle. And normally in these videos, you don't see me spending any points. However, hey, let's just have a little bit of fun, guys. This is the beginning of college football. Technically, does this count as no money spent? Are you going to hate me hopefully not but in this platinum pack we ended up pulling some solid players 278s to start things off with then we would get another 78 this time a same it's the tight end however a 79 cornerback isn't too bad but to end things off we got an 81 free safety next up we opened up the weekly platinums with right here we got an 80 overall which we ended up picking that one opened up another one after that and then right here we got a nice little 80 overall we took and after all of those packs this team was was looking nice at a 79 overall we had spent all of our points our coin count we still gotta get that up but look at this the defense was looking really good the offense was looking really good i was very proud as of right now this is only the first couple of hours of course though you make some upgrades so you're gonna have some players that aren't gonna be in your lineup anymore and what are you gonna do with those players well obviously you're gonna sell them but along with that we did have some playbooks that i ended up putting up so yeah we're just gonna wait and get our coin count up hopped into some head to head and right here this is our first opponent so i recorded our first game he had a pretty solid squad but his name was your boxing i don't think i was boxed this game buddy i think you were boxed right there we get a pick six with will johnson to start things off for our cut career then the following drive our new defensive tackle gets right in the face of joe burrow of course Bruh. that ends in a rage quit we would go on a bit of a three game win streak where we got a new pack a lot of coins and in this pack right here we got a nice selection of 82s which i ended up taking the 82 defensive tackle hey we still gotta build our defensive front i would however get kind of curious take a look at the field pass look at all of our objectives that we need to end up completing before i ultimately went back into head to head all right, things are about to get crazy because it's the next day. My face cam isn't even on, but you can see me by that 82 overall. And of course, another glitch, bro. This was a huge glitch for us, but I barely got in. So like yesterday with that solo battle glitch, I barely got into this one. But this one was basically, if you opened up these packs, you had a chance of getting an 88 all the way up to a 90 overall. So we were able to get some really sick cards. As you guys can see right here, we got some 88s, some 89s. So call it cheating. It's not my fault that EA doesn't know how to do anything. With all of that, though, the team was had an 80 overall. And hey, we had a little bit of training left over, just a little bit. So might as well go ahead and roll these packs again. We got an 81 right there, an 82 middle linebacker. But eventually, we would strike gold and get an 85 overall quarterback, Cameron Rising. This was a really sick addition to add to the team. Finally, we were able to achieve the varsity pack. And I was really excited because I hadn't opened up a varsity pack i didn't know what was in it unfortunately guys it wasn't as great as i thought it was going to be i mean we still got some solid cards but i thought it was gonna be something insane i mean in 81 i guess i can't be too greedy after finishing up our head-to-head -head season though we got a field goal pack along with an mvp bundle type thing i don't know what it was but in the field goal pack we got a Dion crawford and another i think it was like a 70 overall however in our mvp one we got a nice little 80 overall and then we had a choice between two tackles which we already have enough tackles for this squad then i would go on my typical shopping spree that I do at the end of these videos. However, I wanted to add some receivers to the squad. And the reason I'm buying those receivers right there, the 80 overall platinum players, is because they quick sell for like 20,000 coins. And I was ended up buying them for like 23,000, 26,000. So if you actually think about it, 
I'm only buying these cards for like 3,000 to 6,000 coins. And whenever I make an upgrade, I can go ahead and just sell those cards off. But this is what the team ended up looking like. We are an 82 overall. Look at our quarterback. He's an 85. Look at our running back. He's an 89. Our receivers aren't the craziest thing, but the offensive line is pretty sick. And the tight end is kind of mid, to be honest. But hey, the big thing is that running back and quarterback for the offensive side of the ball. Now, defensively, we were looking really weak to start off this video, but surprisingly, it's like the best side of the ball for us. We have two really good lockdown corners. The linebacking core is looking very solid as well, along with that defensive line and the secondary. Also, we got to show love to the kicker. I ended up pulling this 80 overall blue kicker out of the pack. But yeah, we were an 82 all around for my first 24 hours of cut. This is a lot different than a mutt type of rebuild thing, but I still really enjoyed this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you like videos kind of like this, then go ahead and check out my last one where I ended up beating Madden 24 Ultimate Team. But with all of that being said, let's just go ahead and shout out the members.